Mars, I'm bugging. Gemini compatible with Leo. This is a compatibility that we're talking about right here. So these two signs is going to connect very well. Also, Gemini is mutable and adaptable. And of course, they fulfill on mental hunger. So that's not a problem at all because the Leo is going to basically bring that spark. And they're fixed fire too. Even though fixed and mutable is not really a challenge, but this can work out though, especially if y'all are on the right path. And y'all not just in a relationship getting lost on the idealism of how the world perceives you. So, when you got Gemini and Leo, this is a sextile. So, that means y'all have opportunities to work with each other. You have opportunities to express your power, express your passion, a.k.a. act on things. And not just sit back and allow things to flow smoothly versus the trying. Now, the trying is a gift. If y'all was a trying, y'all have to be the same modality, a.k.a. not even the same modality, but the same element. You have to be the same element. You have to be fire and fire to be a trying. For a sextile, you have to be pretty much a 60-degree 60, 60 perspective, a.k.a. a 30-degree away from that perspective. For instance, you got the zodiac sign as a, as a Leo is five. <clears throat> you got Gemini as three, so three plus two, five. So of course you have to be do, you have to be two degrees apart to basically mix and mingle with the sextile. Now a square would be three degrees apart, which is a ninety degree, because of course once you're box once you're boxed in and you're drawing a line, the square represents the conflict, aka learning processes. And the only learning process that these two would have to learn from from each other is they differences aka gemini is all about being mutable and adaptable aka switching things up not staying in one position for too long like the fire leo don't get me wrong fire leo <clears throat> can bring that spark to a new scenario to, to, to a new situation now sometimes they may be narcissistic sometimes they, they may not be it all depends on the moon sign and the other planetary alignments that's basically are debilitated into these two spectrums so when you have this positioning, this is a sextile where these two can basically work together to get the ball rolling, a.k.a. get the genre going. Now, for instance, only opposition will be Gemini and Sagittarius, Leo and Aquarius. But, of course, opposites attract. So you know that. Now, when it comes to the sexuality in bed with the two zodiac signs of Leo and, of course, Gemini, See the, Leo, see, the Leo is going to be passionate towards sex. It's going to strive to it, a.k.a. lust for it. A.k.a. these two can change each other's lives on an equilibrium scale. Gemini may be a little bit shy to show themselves when it comes to nakedness. But, of course, when it comes down to this circumstance situation, these two can basically mix and mingle together. A.k.a. you got the Leo that's going to express their big heartness in bed and, of course, you got the Gemini that's going to come up with new ideas and new adventures to basically get with the program. A.K.A. once these two can fulfill this um, circumstance situation of not being shy or nervous, they could be fucking on the balcony. Shit, they could be fucking on the sun. Even though the sun and Mercury is kind of close to each other, they won't have an issue presenting themselves or expressing themselves. So, of course, now when it comes to trust issues, these two can basically <coughs> get lost. Into being too selfish or being too distant when it comes to their relationships and their perspectives. Like, if these elements are not fulfilled, then these things can become lopsided, upside down. You can have the Gemini basically being out there doing what they want to do. You can have the Leo out there basically doing whatever they want to do and basically get all the attention. That's why if Gemini is not giving attention to the Leo, Leo is going to seek attention elsewhere. And if the Gemini is not comfortable with the Leo actually being able to be mutable and adaptable when it comes to moving around. And the Gemini are going to figure out another way to basically figure that perspective out. Now, when it comes to intercommunication, communication is key when it comes to these two zodiac signs. There's relationships you got to communicate. You got to actually have a connection with your partner. You're not connected. Then what is the whole purpose of being in a relationship? 
that might as well relate yourself from off that ship and basically create another ship where you can basically get on that trip. So, this is a circumstance situation to where <clears throat> this is going to be a wonderful interaction, a wonderful communication, a wonderful intermix, intermix, aka a wonderful conjunction. See, the Leo gonna get more emotional at times, and of course, it's gonna be looking for emotions from the Gemini. But the Gemini, you know, even though they don't deal with that perspective, they will always try to switch up the scenario, aka play the mind game of trying to persuade the Leo into another idealism to come up with a new spectrum. Because of course, they don't like really dealing with the feelings and emotions. Or when you basically try to tip a tag for that, they like to throw things around and say, you know, I'm not emotional, even though they do got emotions. But you, it takes a real person to basically bring them emotions out of that perspective. But of course, when it comes to interaction, the communication, this is not a key for these two individuals. <coughs> also, at times, the Leo can get very narcissistic if you want all the attention from the Gemini. And the Gemini may not settle for that. AKA the Gemini need to be free. You can't trap air. You can't trap fire. So <coughs> either way you look at it, if it's fixed for too long, it's gonna feel the need to basically maneuver and become mutable, just like Jupiter. Now, if that if that is too mutable, it's gonna have to get stagnated and situated in order for it to basically maintain process. So yeah, you can't trap air, air is invisible. You can't trap fire, you're gonna burn. So yeah, this is a circumstance situation that you need the air to blow the fire away from being stagnated into one position. And you need the fire to basically fix the air and to look at things in one perspective. This way, the bridge won't be stagnated. It won't be too many potholes. It won't be too many fragments. You'll be, you'll be able to actually have this shit situated. AKA, in that fire, it can bring that dust, it can bring that dirt, it can basically build upon them, them spectrums and them segments. And of course, the thing is that these two value, they, get, they value going out, they value going places. And of course, Gemini is always gonna come, come, come up with new ways and find ways to get out there and be creative. And of course, Leo gonna go all the way out their way, almost to the point they gonna pay for dinner, they gonna pay for dessert, they are gonna do all that shit. As long as they ain't feeling used or feel like they being taken advantage of, they'll be good. But if you put them in a circumstance situation, then they can really hold a whole, hold a whole lot in, a whole lot in. They can hold a whole lot in towards you. So you don't want to put them in that position, especially knowing that they got a big heart. They basically loving and caring and basically be there for you. Don't put them in that position. <coughs> also. This is a relationship that can basically work out, especially if you're on some spiritual shit. Y'all basically got a connection where y'all can flow through, flow wonderfully. To me, this won't be a situation. Y'all can learn from each other. I can help each other. Gemini can teach the Leo to be more mutable and adaptable and switch things up and not get too lost into one way of looking at the world and the way of doing things. Of course, Leo can basically get that, Le get that Gemini in his bag and stay focused on seeing and feeling and getting more emotional on their perspective and having their flamboyance. And of course, expressing that fire and that passion. <clears throat> for real, for real. But this is Leo, and this is um, Gemini, and a nutshell. So right now.